Hey everybody and welcome to 5 Minute Theologian. I'm your host Kyle Bailey and this show is all about covering popular Bible topics in 5 minutes, expanding your knowledge of scripture simply and practically. Today we'll be discussing what is the gospel in 5 minutes. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and share it with others. Let's get started. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 says, But if even we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. This scripture helps us understand how critical it is for us to know what the biblical gospel is. The word gospel comes from a Greek word meaning good news. In order for us to truly appreciate the good news, we have to have a better understanding of the story of the Bible as a whole. It's not often that we hear good news in this broken world that we're living in. The headlines are full of death, turmoil, division, and despair. The story of the Bible begins with helping us understand how the world became this way. In the beginning of the biblical narrative, we find God presented as the creator of the universe. But something very different about the world is emphasized in the biblical narrative. The world was good. In the early chapters of Genesis, we find God repeatedly saying that His created world was full of goodness. That is, there was no evil, sin, sickness, or death present within the world. The Garden of Eden reflected a time in the distant past when heaven and earth were connected and God and humanity were in a beautiful relationship with one another. But as the story continues, something sinister takes place. We find the demonic appearance of Satan in humanity's habitat, tempting them to rebel against God. Yes, the famous story of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve yielded to the temptation and thus triggered a cascade of disorder and dysfunction that has plagued mankind ever since. We were plunged into a world characterized by corruption in our hearts. Directly afterwards, God in His mercy predicts in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, that a descendant of Adam and Eve would suffer and defeat the works of Satan. This person is known by the biblical phrase Messiah. This is the beginning of the gospel or good news. From here we find a long lineage of descendants who do great things for God but ultimately succumb to temptation and corruption in one way or another. This cyclical pattern emphasizes that a merely natural descendant of Adam and Eve does not have the capacity to defeat the works of Satan in and of themselves. Thus, the story of the Bible culminates brilliantly in the person of Jesus Christ. Throughout the initial part of the biblical story, we find the identity of the Messiah becoming more and more specified as a total of 315 prophecies about him were written. By the time that Jesus Christ arrives on the scene, the Jewish nation was eagerly awaiting the appearance of the biblical Messiah. The works of Satan were ravaging humanity, and the people were yearning for the announcement of good news. At the birth of Jesus, we find the angel proclaim, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Jesus' entire ministry was characterized by good news for those whom he encountered. He healed the sick, cleansed the leper, made the blind eyes see, caused the lame to walk, and raised people from the dead. When Jesus would arrive in villages, thousands of people would show up to see him and hear him teach. In John chapter 7, verse 46, it says, Never has anyone spoken like this man. Even with the incredible miracles done during Jesus' ministry and the many prophecies fulfilled by him, there was still the issue of slavery to sin that needed to be addressed. In order for our bonds to be broken, someone has to pay the price for our redemption. Jesus paid the price to redeem us from sin with his life's blood. He died on the cross in our place for our sin so that we can be forgiven and filled with the Holy Spirit. This is good news. But that's not even the end of the story. After three days, Jesus resurrected from the dead with an immortal, glorified body. Through faith in him, we get to experience the same kind of resurrection at the end of this age. The gospel is good news about the free gift of eternal life offered to everyone through Jesus Christ. 
In Jesus, God became flesh and he alone paid the full price for our redemption through his blood. The good news is you can know that you have eternal life. Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Romans 10, 9 says, If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I want to thank you for watching 5-Minute Theologian. What did you think about this episode? Have you received the gospel? Tell us in the comments. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with others. You can also find more topics like this at our website, biblicalquestions.net. We'll see you next time.